not got a real pretty block for these two materials and I hope that it turns out but we're gonna start by trimming up our edge I'm gonna do it again there we go now we'll stick them down there in our rug now I need to turn it this way and I want to cut down okay I'm going to use this right here for a line to make sure then that I get it from here so I can't go over 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 and line it up there we go have got it level. Okay, turn everything back around. I want to take and put this down here on the one. Level everything up along the line. There we go. And now we want to go 14 inches over. There we go. Okay, now this is what size that the uh, instructions are telling me. I need 14 inch blocks. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so we can't get it right here. And now we're going to take 14 and 14. Okay, now I know I can't get no 14 out of that, but we could probably end up using it. This is a 14 inch blocks right here, and there's eight of them. Now, I want to see if I can get 14 at hopefully two more. I doubt it. I very seriously doubt it. Now, oh, yes. Let's get us a couple more, a couple more. I'm going to try to get as many as I can. Yeah. I'm going to put this over here and line this up. I can't afford to cut anything off of it. So... So if that's going to be eight. Oh no, I don't know. I'm hoping I can. Let me get let me let me iron this crease out of this and get this lined up so that we can have it as best as we can. Well, I got me some more, so I got that's four, and now this makes eight. So that, that works for me. Eight blocks of work. And I am so glad. I mean, I got more than eight right here. Let's see. Two, four. Two, four, six, eight. And then I got two, four. I got, okay. I got nine of or eight of each all right so what we're going to do is we're going to get one of these blocks put this over here and then we're going to put this one on here and each one of them gets a corner like this And this is the way the uh, 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 
instructions. You don't have to have them right on top of each other according to it. It kind of gives you room in the middle like that. But I kind of like it where they are like that. I think that right there looks so much better to me anyway. And I'm hoping there we go that we can do this. Alright, so that's as much as I read about the uh, doing doing this so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and scoot it down a little bit give it a pin down and each one of them oh, wait a minute I ought to go down a little bit more let's go with this we're going to touch each one right here at the at the end of it there now we'll put that one and then that one okay I think, now this is a, a hazel spray. I ain't never tried it. I just had to lay it out. If you notice, these right here are lines. And then these two lines. And then these lines. I think that is going to be gorgeous. Now I have to glue them all down. I didn't glue them down. I had to set it out and look at it and see what it looks like. And it is gorgeous. It was just enough material. Just enough to do it and I'm happy with it. And I can't wait to get it done. Alright, now that I have them all laid out and I, uh oh, I forgot my little things on that one. Alright, I can put that one on well, let's go ahead and get that one, and we'll put them on when we get any younger. I forgot about putting them on this one. We'll go ahead and grab it. All right. Let's go glue these down. All righty. The first thing, let's go ahead and get some of these. I only need four of them. One, two, three. They are really sticky in there. I believe they were die cut. All right, let's get rid of this. We don't need it. All right, now we're gonna get rid of all of this. <laughs> and we're gonna take this one and we're gonna fold it in half. Okay, then we're going to turn it. Whoa. Okay, now I have made me a template. And if you notice, the corners are already done and folded so we can find our middle, which is right here. Let's get that one straight. That one's straight. Yep, we got them all straight. We're gonna start off with these, and we're gonna we got we know that the line goes this way and up this way, and we're gonna line these up. Let's see is that one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, put it back. God damn it. Saw new. Right, now we're gonna lay them down. Like that. 
line them up. Now, I want this right here. I don't want it out there. I want it going towards the corner. So we're going to line them up towards the corner. That one's going towards the corner. This one is not going towards the corner. Want to make sure they're going. Now, if you want to, you can get technical about it. And I lost my. Now, right here it is. We can go like this and make sure that they're all. But I think that eyeballing it is okay. All right, now why ain't you going on? All right. So then we're going to take this one. And we're going to slide it underneath there and make sure that all the corners are covered. <coughs> I thought. Like that. Alright, now we're going to take our glue. And we're going to put some down there, mash it down. Mash it down. And give it a turn. I'm going to have to get a, a water and put this in it while I do this because. Get stiff on me when I walk off and leave it. Okay. And I don't want it stiff. There we go. Alright, now we'll take that one off. Put some glue down in here. Yeah. Right. Now we're going to put this one right down in the middle. And we're going to mash it all down. Slide it back on here. And we're going to take it right. Oh, I forgot. We need to put a pin on it. This tells us that it is already done. And we don't have to glue it down the second time. <laughs> All right, let's go get us another one. All right, let's see if there's any more that I had left off anywhere. Uh, if you notice, I'm going to try to keep them straight. I've done that one, and I've done that one. The pin is right down there and, and right here. And now all I've got to do is just finish doing the rest of them. And that one right there is done. We did that with the uh, uh, in there with the other glue. I need to put a pin on it so we make sure that we don't get it again. And we're going to grab the next one. And we're going to go do the same identical thing. I found a way to make it quicker. So we're gonna make I'm gonna do this right here a whole lot more quicker than what I did. And this one here's already got a line there. I hope it's lined up. Yes it is. Okay. Now we're gonna get this up. But it, it for some reason it just seemed like it just went so much quicker the way that I just done it. Alright, now I'm gonna take I took and put Lines on my uh, thing here, and I'm gonna line it up right on it. Now, each one of these, I'm going to center it between my lines, which really that made it a whole lot more quicker to do. Just this little bit, lining it up and putting it right in here made it a whole lot more quicker. I was surprised at how much it was. Yeah, I'm going to show that. So if anybody does this, then they can do it quicker. 
And I got me some water here to put my brush in. And I'm more. Take it off the water. And. Mashing it down. And this right here just seems like it just went so much quicker. I'm surprised. I'm running out of glue over her. To throw me in some more glue. Now, one thing that I wished I would have done was like put these two on and then these two like that. And I think that right there may end up helping me in the long run if I do it like that. And now we're going to do the middle. <laughs> it was quicker until I ran out of the way. But yeah, this right here seemed like it went a whole lot more quicker. And I can get to sewing a whole lot more faster after it dries. I gotta let it dry first. I'm not in a rush to do these. Me and Rick, we're trying to get on day shift now. And let me tell you, it has been one big old fight to get back on day shift. Alright, I'm gonna quit this right here. And I think it went better. Alrighty. This is what we are looking for, and I hope you can see it pretty good. With the way I got the camera going, I hope you can see it. But that's what we're looking for. And Mama Cat is happy. Alright, now, I don't know how much you can see right here, but I want to make sure that these two is going the same way. So it will make it a whole lot more easier in, in it. I don't know if you guys can see or not. Let me see if I can show you what Mama Cat is doing. <laughs> she's right here. Let me, there you go. She's on my qu on my quilt blocks there. <laughs> she said, I'm going to stop you. All right, let's see if I can't get you back. And then that way you can see what I'm doing with the... So we. All right. Because in the end, you're going to be able to see these two. And I can't get a block to show you, but that's Mama Cat. All right. Now, let's get started and let's get some of these sewed down. I'm going to try to start my stitch right here on the end of the. Uh, and I'm going to go around. <coughs> Alright, now right in here you're going to start seeing a bubble. You just want to pick your foot up, set it back down, and go again. Until you start seeing a bubble again. Because you want to keep up with curves. Alright, now I'm right down in here. You don't want to keep your... Uh, needle in this spot you want to keep it on the outside of your material oh, it's not going to that one is not going to it's okay we're gonna scoot it over and then we're gonna go on if you could do it without getting a bubble there you're doing good I don't know if you can tell it, but mine's starting to go wrong, and I don't want that. Alright, now we're going to go on around, right down into it. <coughs> and we're going to stop right here at the end. I'm going to cut this string off because you got food in there. it I'm bugs me. Oh, you're somebody different. She wants pants now. You know that. Now we're going to turn it all the way around. Now we're going to lift our foot up. We're going to bring this over just a little bit to make our stitches straight again. I was only going to give you two. 
some reason for it coming out. <laughs> you love her and you know it. All right, we always want to make sure our needle is on the outside of wherever we stop at. It just makes it look prettier and all in the long run. And it keeps you uh, right on track. down the middle here. Alright, now we're going to stop, we're going to turn it around, and we're going to pick it up, and we're going to move it. You want to leave the needle down as you turn it to make sure you do not lose your spot. the inside of my material I'm just going to make one stitch and stop then that way it is on the outside of my material start to get a bubble Still get a bubble. Don't, I don't want a bubble. <laughs> All right. Stop it. Turn it. And get that bad of a bubble. It'll be good. All right. Needle up. Scoot it over just a little bit down and start all right I got this on this side I need to put it down there we go yeah Make sure that I get it right into my stitches and then I'm going to back stitch so it will lock it down. It does not back stitch, it just locks it down. Alright, then we got that right there done. Try to pick up my scissors. Alright, now we're going to go into the middle of it. And we're going to go around and around and around.
Alrighty, now that we got that one locked down, and we got that one done, now we're going to work on one of these right here. I'm going to try to start right here in the seam right here. It makes it a whole lot better. Alright, now you want to make sure you stop on the outside right there on all of them. It just makes it look better. And it's like the sewing machine knows when to stop. That one didn't. So we're just going to make one stitch and stop it. That one didn't do it. Which we got it. We got it. Right. Alright, now I'm going to go right down inside these stitches that I have already done. And I'm going to back tack to lock it down. And then we are done with this one. On the roof? Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay, it must have hit right up against my scissors. Okay. So I'm going to finish this one up. And then we will see you all whenever I get the rest of them done. We went to the fabric store today, and um, I got this right here to go right along with it, or this one. I haven't made up my mind how I'm going to do it yet, but I know I won't. I think I'll probably go with this one, because the other ones are uh, solid. And uh, we have more of these colors than we do the purple. And I think the purple will uh, go really good. I can't believe I didn't get that one. But I don't remember if I said why I do the middle one first or not. I do the middle one first so that these can take their subtle down. And once they settle down, say for instance, this right here will go further down in there, then it can go down in there. And then I do this one to stabilize this. And then when I do these, it stabilizes them pretty good. So that's the reason why I, I do it this way. Just so that you all will know. And I think I'm going to go with the... Uh, Printed purple because I think it would go a whole lot better with these. I think it would. Alright, I'm gonna finish these up. And this is my second day, and I still got four five more blocks to do, and I'm taking my sweet time with them. I am in no hurry whatsoever. So, alrighty. How to donate to Poor Man Sewing. Mash on Poor Man Sewing. You come up here and you look for about. And there you can donate to Poor Man Sewing. All donations is really appreciated. Thank you very much.